Welcome back to Anderson Acres. Here's a bunch of baby ducks. But we're actually here because I want to talk about splay leg. Okay, I haven't actually had a baby with splay leg until now. And now I have two of them. But I haven't had one. So it's been difficult to show you what to do about it. Even though I've had people ask questions. So, splay leg. What is it? What do you do about it? So, this is just my bundle of baby ducks, and I'm just going to anchor my camera a little bit better so it doesn't fall over. There we go. But uh, these are my bundle of baby ducks. There are seven little ducklings. They are doing fantastic. Now, with any bird you hatch, you can end up with one that's got splay leg or straddle leg or whatever you call it. People call it different things. So generally, when your ducks are walking around, they should have their feet flat on the ground, okay? They should be able to walk with their tummy up off the ground, and then they'll fall off your hand. But they should be able to walk around with their tummy up off the ground. They shouldn't be dragging. They shouldn't be kind of limping. They should be walking normally. Every once in a while, you'll get a chick like this one. Now, this is a duckling, but this can happen with, um, it can happen with turkeys or chickens or quail or whatever, but... You can see his legs kind of stick out to the side. They don't really support him. He drags his tummy because he doesn't have his legs under him. So I have two that that happened to. And I haven't, uh, well, I did, I'm going to tie his legs. But I want to show you how to tie their legs because this is the other one who had legs like that. So I have two in this bundle and it's the first I've had all season. So it's the first time I have had a chance to show you what to do. So what do you do? First of all, I like to grab a Band-Aid, a regular Band-Aid. I like using something either that is designed to stick to skin or doesn't stick to skin. So maybe use a little piece of vet wrap or a nice little Band-Aid or whatever, but it should be something that is designed for skin or doesn't stick in the first place. You don't want to hurt their skin. If you try to use a piece of duct tape, you're going to hurt your baby ducks or your baby geese or your baby chickens or whatever when you take it off because it does have to be taken off eventually. So what you do, this little guy has a band-aid wrapped around his legs. What you do is you wrap one part of the band-aid around his leg. You wrap the other end of the band-aid around his leg at about the distance apart you want them. You basically just, you're taping his legs into position. And then you leave him like that at least overnight. You may have to leave him like that for 24 hours, maybe even 48 at the outside. Okay, so you tape his legs up, and then you'll notice he's what well, you fell over, but you'll notice he's walking a lot better. So he's actually standing up on his legs. He's got them under him, whereas this one, who I haven't taped yet, still has them out to the side. So I taped up one to show you the difference. They both walked like this guy at the beginning. Okay, they both were walking like that, you know, a little lower to the ground, legs out to the side. But now, where are you? Right here. But now he is standing up. So he has to keep that band-aid on till tomorrow, but that's all you do. That's all it takes to fix your ducks or your geese or your chickens. It doesn't matter. Any bird you hatch can end up with splay leg. It's usually just malpositioning in the egg. Okay, so when they're trying to get out of that egg, their legs end up kind of splayed and that kind of hangs around if you don't fix it. It's easy to fix. You certainly do not need to cull a chick because they have splay leg. Now, if they have legs that stick out behind them, you may have to put them in something like a shot glass or something where they can get their legs under them and give themselves some strength so they can start standing up because you want their legs under them and not flapping apart. So to get their egg legs in the right position, you may have to put them in some kind of shot glass or whatever you have to do. Guys, don't fight. You don't need to fight. But whatever you have to do in order to get them standing up a little bit better. Okay, so do what you have to to get them moving and get their legs under them. It can take a couple of days. So after one day, after 24 hours, take the Band-Aid or the Vet Wrap off and see how they're doing. If they're walking like a normal duck or a normal chicken or whatever, then you're fine. If their legs are still kind of splayed, you want to get those legs back under them, retape them. So remember, you're not taping their legs directly together. Right? You want, where are you? Here you are. You want their legs to be able to be apart, 
okay? But not so far apart that they're splayed. So you definitely want, there's a delicate balance between far enough apart so that the duck can still walk and so far apart that they're still splayed. So it's a little bit of trial and error. You'll get it right. So you just kind of play around with it. It's an easy thing to fix. And I am going to bind the other one's leg. Um, I just wanted to show you one bound and one unbound just because it was easier because I happen to have two. So you don't have this happen all the time. This is my first of the season and I have hatched quail and chickens and turkeys and these, this is the first time I've had it happen this year. I did have it happen a couple of times last year with some chickens with I think three chickens the entire year that I hatched and that's not very many compared to how much I hatch. So it happens once in a while. It's easy to fix and it's definitely not a reason to cull. And remember if the legs are sticking straight out behind the duck or the chicken or whatever, don't bite my fingers you crazy little guys. But if it's sticking straight out, if their legs are sticking straight up behind them, you need to get those legs under them. So you want to support them in a shot glass or something that keeps them upright so they can't stick their legs up behind them. It makes a world of difference. And then after you take the tape off, they just do need to learn how to be a little duckling or a little chicken or something. They have to figure out then how to walk without the brace and they will so they'll walk awkwardly for a couple of days where they're like oh i can take bigger steps but that's normal just make sure their legs are under them and so when you look at the duck or the turkey or whatever from the top you shouldn't actually see the legs sticking out okay either to the back or to the sides stop biting your brother but you shouldn't see the legs normally if they're just standing normally if they're walking you'll probably see them stepping but you shouldn't, if they're just standing there, you shouldn't see that. Look at these little guys. They like to do that. Anyway, that is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. Splay leg is a really, really easy fix. And little ducks are very curious and they'll bite your fingers. But they don't hurt because they're just baby ducks. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for us here today. I hope this was informative. If you need better pictures, let me know and I'll post some. I just wanted to basically cover what you should do if your chick or your duckling's legs are not perfect. But that's it for us here today. We'll see you tomorrow.